वेलकम टू कंबाइंड क्लास ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ स्कूल वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स टीचर्स ओरिएंटेशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गणिता सूत्र मैथमेटिक्स ऑन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स स्कूल वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स टीचर्स ओरिएंटेशन इज इन इट्स फर्स्ट फेज एंड टुडे we will be focusing upon format 2 and it is vinculum we know that our first format has been varga 5 cross 5 now this varga 5 cross 5 is essentially taking us to a art of counting 1 to 5 five times it means that we are learning to count with the principle of eka adhiken purve one more than before principle of sutra 1 and we know that we can have first point then we have a second point so we can say one and two we can have a third point we can have a fourth point and we can have a fifth point like points we can also have first line second line third line fourth line and a fifth line step ahead we can have first square second square third square fourth square and a fifth square a step ahead we can have a first cube we can have a first cube then we can have a second cube third cube fourth cube and fifth cube and step ahead as we are now entering vedic mathematics domain and vedic mathematics is the mathematics of the creator of the space a four space four space has a representative regular body as zero space has a points as a body one space has lines as a body two space has squares as bodies three space has cubes as bodies so likewise four space is also having bodies and we designate it hypercube and this hypercube four so we will have first hypercube four then we will have second hypercube four third hypercube four fourth hypercube four and fifth hypercube four like that we can avail the format the first format of 5 cross 5 this 5 cross 5 essentially is of the format of a power 2 which means it is essentially of the format of first axis up till 5 and the second axis also up till 5 and it is making 5 cross 5 a area units the 5 cross 5 format as such is taking us essentially that initially say we are counting in terms of lines so we are having 5 units and with this 5 units we can say if we make a a width as well we add as one unit to the second axis then we see that it will transform into a five square units area unit another area unit another area unit another area unit and another area unit with it we see that we are sequentially reaching at the values 1 as 1 cross 1 2 as 2 cross 1 3 as 3 cross 1 4 as 4 cross 
and 5 as 5 cross 1. Therefore, our counting which is along a line now is transforming a counting beam along a surface area or area units. Here we are counting the length, here we are counting the area. A step ahead we can reach at a count for solids, volume. So 1 cross 1 cross 1 is one area, one volume unit. Then it would be 1 cross 1 cross 2 would be 2 volume units. 1 cross 1 into cross 1, 1 into 3, 3 volume units. 1 cross 1 cross 4, 4 area units. 1 cross 1 cross 5, 5 volume units. Even a step ahead we can reach at that 1 cross 1 cross 1 cross 1 1 raised per 4 as a hyper unit. This way we can count up till 5 hyper units. Therefore our counting is not confined to the points say 5 points counting will transform into 5 linear units counting and this will further transform into 5 area units counting then 5 volume units counting and 5 hyper volume units counting. It is this feature which deserves to be imbibed well. One shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to be face to face with this that count itself is a count. It is a count of points or it is a count of lines, linear units, or it is count of area units, or it is count of volume units, or it is a count of hyper volume units. It is an application. Therefore, the counts as pure values and counts as applied values are two distinct but two parallel features. These parallel features are the features which deserve to be properly, gently, sequentially in very small steps like the sequential increase of the counts themselves to be imprinted in the young minds. Young minds are affine state minds. Young minds are affine state minds. Now these affine state minds are to be made into sequential progression minds. We have to make mind which is in a fine state, the same is to be given a transition and transformation of being the sequential values intelligence mind. Therefore, the from if we first say point and then another say point, both are the same, so both have value 1. However, when we will shift from here a single point to these pair points and we attach the value 2, therefore reaching from 1 and 1 as a pair to reaching at 1 and 2 is the state which deserves to be imbibed very gently and in a very simple steps and on first principles. We as Vedic mathematics teachers are under Solomon obligation that we shall take young minds in a very gentle steps so that when we reach from first step to the second step there does not happen to be any scratch upon the affine mind. A fine mind is a very delicate because the intelligence is along the base of a consciousness. The intelligence is intelligence is having a consciousness base and this intelligence is to be in a brain and brain is to be in a mind and mind is in a head and head is a part of a body. 
As such, if we are starting with the body as initial state or as a euro state, then we reach the head as a second stage or a first stage, then we reach at mind, a third stage as a second stage, then at a brain as a fourth stage or a third stage, then at a intelligence as a fifth stage or a fourth stage, and ultimately the consciousness, the sixth or a fifth state. Therefore, it is this parallel reach as 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, or this taken to 5 and this taken to 6. How we will reach from 5 to 6? So we have on the first format learnt 5 cross 5. And we know 5 cross 5 is making a grid for us. So if it is a grid of 5 points, then we will be having 5 cross 5 points. However, we, these 5 points are giving us only 4 linear units. 5 points are leading to four linear units. Therefore, these 25 counts, so these 25 counts are as of the counts of the points. However, this 4 cross 4, this is giving us 4 cross 4 is equal to the linear units. So length units or along 5 cross 5 format of the points is going to be 4 cross 5 units. If we want to have 5 cross 5 linear units, then we have to go a step ahead to as many as 6 points counts. So these 6 points counts will be giving us a grid 6 cross 6 and this 6 cross 6 grid will of points will be leading to 5 cross 5 units in linear units. It is this feature of the format, Varga format, square format, 5 cross 5 grid format. So our first format, a 5 cross 5 grid format, is of features that the same as 5 points range along the first axis, along the length part and likewise the width as well the second axis as well being of five points counts then this five cross five grid will be leading to uh, 25 points points counts 25 points counts would be there and simultaneously we know that these five points are having four gaps and these four gaps are bridged by the lines so points can be connected by a line. This connection of a pair of points by a line means initially we are at the points as counts and now in the gaps we are reaching at the length as the counts. So the points as a counts and length as counts are of different generic. Therefore we have to very gently, very smoothly, in a very small steps, with very natural illustrations, take young minds for the exposure and initiation as that count is a very fine, a pure value. The counts, when are applied, then they take us to sequential progressions. So, this transition and transformation step of the intelligence field within the brains of the young minds are to be handled in a very gentle, very smooth steps. Therefore, we shall take the young minds for their exposure to the second format. The name of the second format is vinculum. Vinculum means less than or of opposite orientation. Now, if we are reaching at count 6, 
then we see it is 10 minus 4. As such, it would mean that if we are moving along a line, say from 1 to 10, then moving from this side, reaching up till count 6, would mean that if we move from the opposite side, it would be a 4 steps only. So it would be 10 minus 4. Therefore, from the initial square Varga format of 5 cross 5, when we are now transiting to another format, this another format would mean that if we have a line in between the pair of points, then it will give a two orientations from the first point to the second point from the beginning to the end. Therefore, this line is having a pair of points, pair of end points. Now we are shifting to a format where the pair of points are leading to a gap which is being bridged by a line. Now for this we can, for any point in in between state can have two approaches. We can reach from the first point or we can reach from the second point. Therefore, the value 6 or count 6 when will be from the starting point of count 1 as a head, we will have to take 6 steps. However, from the opposite orientation, we will have, we will take only 4 steps. These 4 steps being in the opposite orientation and the from initially there being of the another orientation so if we take it is a positive orientation and we take it it is a negative orientation then here is a value 6 plus and here we will take value 4 it is just a symbol it is just a method it is just a strategy it is just logistics so with these logistics this strategy this tool is being applied in such a way that we can reduce this reach of six steps. We have to travel six steps to reach say at value six from this end. From other end, if we start, we have to take only four steps. Therefore, this reach at five in our first way of reach is to have a labor of six steps. We have to take six steps to reach here. However, if we are in the opposite orientation, then we have to take only four steps. It is here is a gain of two steps. Starting from one, reaching up till six is six steps long journey. It is a six steps long labor. This is, these are six mathematical steps. We have to take six steps to reach at six. However, if we want to reach at 10 and we have a choice of a reach from the other end, say value 10, then we have to take only 4 steps. So see, reaching from this orientation is a labor of 6 units. Going from another orientation, there is a labor of only 4 units. There is a big saving. Here we are taking 6 steps. Here we are having a labor of 6 steps. From other end, we are having a labor of only four steps. There is a saving of two steps. It is a very big saving. Likewise, seven will give us from first orientation value seven. From other orientation, it would be of minus three steps. So eight steps and minus two steps. So value reach nine will be only of a minus one step. It is a very big gain. We have to introduce young minds to this system, Vinculum system, which would mean a system at the first instance can be taken as that the pair of points lead to a bridging by a line which accepts a pair of orientations for a reach for every point along a line. So any point along a line with a pair of end points can be approached from both ends so these both ends reach at the given point as such 
be taken as a reach by a pair of orientations. It is this pair of orientations which is taking us to to a setup which has a for us pair of axes. So we have a pause here and make a note that when we are working with nine numerals, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, then if we have a bend at five, because five can be reached in five steps from this end and also five steps from this end. But if I have a bend here, then we'll be reaching at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we will be reaching back to our original basic start with format. And this basic start with format is 5 cross 5 grade. Therefore, today let us revisit first format 5 cross 5, then from here. Let us transit to our second format of a wind column and this wind column would mean that we are trying that our labor of nine steps reach as numerals shall be reduced to half and this would mean that we shall focus upon the value 5. This focus upon value 5 which gives us a reach of 5 steps on both ends is the focus and with it we can have a bend here and with it we can reach back to 5 cross 5 grid. Therefore this transition and transformation of 9 numerals reach in terms of 5 units reach, 5 numerals reach or 5 values reach and the reduction of another 4 bigger numerals into the negative values minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 1 with absolute values being 1, 2, 3 and 4. We see 6 is 5 plus 1. We further see that 7 is 5 plus 2. It is 5 plus 1. Here is 5 plus 2. Here is 5 plus 3. Here is 5 plus 4. Therefore, here we are availing 1, 2, 3 and 4 as positive units and in the reverse orientation we are having minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. These are the features. These are very large features. All these features shall be smoothly, gently, sequentially be brought to the pointed attention of the young minds step by step and try to embed the seeds of intelligence in the young minds as to how the affine state of counts one point, another point, another point, all another point, all points being of same values and then this reaching from first point to the another when we add another point when we make a pair that means it initially it was a one point and a next step it becomes a pair of points. Therefore reaching from single point to a pair of points to triple points are big steps. If we can very gently, very smoothly expose young minds and initiate them for making pairs, making triples, making quadruples, making penta. These five steps, therefore, we shall expose them to point line, square, cube and hypercube. They are euro space body, one space body, two space body, three space body and four space body. If we are successful to take young minds in a very smooth and a gentle way from the affine placements of the points to their pairings and further grouping, clubbing, combining of these points as single, double, triple, quadruple, penta, then we can say that we have successfully planted the seed in the affine state of the young mind and the same will flower and make it a required growth 
and there would be a second generation value and it would be a reach from the affine to a sequential this affine to sequential this taking individual points individual lines individual squares to a pair of points pair of lines pair of squares this is the value which is needed and the teachers shall very gently work it out and make it a very gentle exercise and discharge their solemn duty of educating children for growth of their intelligence from their original intelligence of fine state to their progressive sequential intelligence state. Now let us see that these all features are inherently embedded in the mathematics of Ganita Sutras. The mathematics of Ganita Sutras in Unit 2 we are at the stage of a vision, tools and a strategy. Now vision is as we see is of our solar universe. The existence phenomenon of our solar universe is our vision. Our mathematics of Ganita Sutras is of the vision of the solar universe. They exist means it is of a six space. Therefore, this hypercube six, a six space body, is the space which is to be mathematized, is to be chased mathematically. So with this vision, we have to have tools and a strategy and tools and strategy for this vision is to be provided by hypercube 6. We have to fabricate different values and features of hypercube 6, a 6 space body, the body which along with which is the sun itself. So Surya with Ankh 6, so sun is the body which is to provide us all the tools and the strategy also would be inherently available here. Now for this tools and strategy we have to have logistics means the steps. All logistics are to be provided to are to be had to be possessed to reach at the strategy for working these tools for attaining this vision. This logistics is to be provided by us to us by a Varga means by number value 2 means by a diamond means two units of when the two units are to be taken when the points are to be paired so this pairing means is the logistics it is this logistics so we will have a diamond now we know within a plane we can have a line and plane both it is happening because of a VST semester which to which will be coming afterwards. Now this line and a plane within a plane is the feature. It is because of it that we will be having a instead of a pair of linear units we will be having a pair of spatial units. So this one and one as length and as area are to be simultaneously handled. Therefore our logistics, our initial format is going to be of a diamond it is going to be of pairs it is going to be of value 2 now this diamond which is of a line and which is of a plane as such we see that this diamond of squares again we know if we can have a point line and a square and line and square both within the both of the parts so the first part of diamond and second part of a diamond both will again permit us to have a diamond therefore the actual requirement our actual need our actual supply our actual logic or actual steps inherent in this setup are that we are in fact instead of having acceptance of synthesis of a two linear units we are having a synthesis of of a pair of diamonds. So we are having a pair of diamonds which are being synthesized. First diamond and the second diamond. Both are being again made and put along a diamond format. 
Therefore, let us see, we are having this part and this part, then we have this part and this part, and we are having this joint. So, how these are actually the five units, five counts, five steps, this is to be appreciated and this is to be comprehended. One, two, three, four, and five from both orientations. So, a split for value five as two, two, and a giant one. So, it is this setup, it is this logistics, it is this format. Therefore, here we have to add a fourth word now, it is logistics. Logistics. We have to provide, we have for this vision of six space of our solar universe, we have to fabricate our tools from Hypercube 6 and strategy for working out these tools for this vision as well is inherent within this format, this value, as we know, 6 is a perfect number, a first perfect number, a unique perfect number for which addition and multiplication in both situations lead to value 6. It is only this perfect number, the first perfect number, which has this value that the addition summation value of the proper divisors and the product value of the proper divisors is equal. Now, further we know 6 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2. It again is a very beautiful feature which is inherently available here. And further we know 6 is equal to 3 plus 3 and we know 3 is equal to 1 plus 2, so plus 1 plus 2. So we are reaching a square and a square and with a square as well reaching as line and a square, line and a square. All these features are inherently available within this setup, this value, this format. Therefore our logistics are to be ultimately provided by a varga, a square. We know it is the only tool, it is this tool of a dimensional body, a single, this category 2 tool is a single entry and this entry is a Varga. So we can recapitulate what we had learned in the previous lesson and now this reach, this logistics of a diamond format, therefore here we, here we can write a solar universe, here we can write six space body and here we can write a diamond ad format. Therefore, it is this vision, tools, strategy and logistics which are to be ultimately being our assets. These assets of ours, of this logistics is to be taken for the tools, for the strategy to work out the tools to reach and reach at the vision. Now, let us today revisit the text of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras. Let us recapitulate that Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras are 16 Sutras and 13 Upsutras, making it a value 29. Let's a step ahead. Let us re further recapitulate that this text of Ganita Sutras and Up Sutras is a text which avails 36 letters. A step ahead, in terms of these 36 letters, we are having a composition of 24 formulations, word formulations making the text of Ganita Sutras and 22 word formulations making the text of Ganita Up Sutras. This makes it 46. So, a step ahead, we know that the formulations, 46 formulations, are further permitting their reach of their components, the constituents, the sub-formulations, which are 87 and 80, 167, together with the source formulation, soul syllable ohm, is takes us to 168 formulations, and value 168 and is parallel to 168 primes of the values range 1 to 1000. 
and further we also know that value uh, 168 accepts an organization 8 multiplied by 21 and 21 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 which is parallel to Sthapatya mirroring rod and as such it makes a self-referral dimension. There are going to be as many as 8 self-referral dimensions. So 6 space in the role of 6 space in the role of a dimension and of 8 space and there are so 8 dimensions which are making a setup. So this setup in terms of the formulations is ultimately working out for us there are as many as 8 self-referral dimensions means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 it is going to be one dimension means 6 space in the role of a dimension 8 such dimensions are available so it is working out a dimensional frame of Asht Prakriti so nature in its working format of our solar universe is of values, features, formats which are inherently embedded and availed in the text of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras in the form of sub-formulations. Now we are categorizing the different sub-formulations which are leading us to the mathematical tools. In the category 1 we had seen that number value ANK is leading us to a category of 11 formulations of 11 values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Out of these 11, 6 of them or in manifest form 0, 1, 2, 7, 9 and 10 and remaining 5 of them are in unmanifest form. Therefore the inherent feature of the mathematics of Ganita Sutras and Apsutras is that it is not only working the existence phenomenon in its manifest form but also that what is in unmanifest form. Therefore, it is not only the light but the black matter as well. Therefore, light and black matter like object and image is also being inherently worked out in terms of the mathematical tools of the Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras. As such, our focus has to be upon the manifest form as well as upon unmanifest form. So in category second, we have seen that there is a single entry and it is of Varga. It is a square. Square is a representative regular body of a two space. And two space will have its different roles. And one of the basic and prominent role which is specifically being availed and being pointed by the mathematics of Ganita Sutra and Sutras is a dimension. So two space in the role of a dimension is the feature, is the value which is being availed. So our strategy is to be to see how the space content as space content lump manifesting as a domain fold will be from static state to a dynamic state and this transition from static state to dynamic state will be transition and transformation for the role from the domain fold to the dimension fold. Therefore, this reach to dimension fold is the feature which is taking the static format of our solar universe of hypercube 6 in its dynamic state. Now, 6 space as space, 6 space content, as 6 space content lump is a 6 space domain and it is of hypercube 6 format and this hypercube 6 format with 6 space as domain permits swapping in terms of a stopatya mirroring rod synthesized by hypercubes 1 to 6 so value is 1 to 6 so value 21. Now when this 6 space content lump 
manifesting as a domain fold permitting sweeping in terms of a stopata mirroring rod is in a dynamic state so when it becomes a dimension so six space will structure out eight space means there would be as many as eight self referral dimensions so the dimensional frame of eight spatial dimensions would be there and here it would be relevant to take note that value 8 is the value of formulation a means 1 here 1 is being taken as 8 further we know 8 is the value of a chaya so it is of a shadow so 8 as chaya as a shadow so shadow is being worked out and 8 units simultaneously are been taken as a 1 so these features ultimately which are inherently there in this mathematics of the ganita sutras inherently embedded in the formulations and sub formulations same deserve to be chased so today we are going a step ahead and we are taking category 3 now in category 3 we are having a focus upon the quantifiers comparisons now for quantifier comparisons this first formulation is adi we should have a beginning point number 2 is ant a end number 3 is same means parallel number 4 is sum is equal number 5 is adhik more than number 6 is noon less than number 7 is unum deficient from 8 is purana means full then 9 is apurana which is incomplete and 10 is going to be samisti which is whole and 11 is going to be vesti which is going to be part these all 11 quantifiers comparisons we are being availed by the text of ganita sutras in the form of the sub formulations of the formulations of the text therefore we have to sit comfortably and have to reflect upon each of these quantifier comparisons now adi and some some adhik nyunen unam purnam apurnam samisti vesti we should sit comfortably and have a revisit to the text and let us make a table in which first column shall have serial number in the second column we should have these 11 formulations and in the next column we shall point out where these formulations are finding place in the text of ganita sutras and upasutras are where they are marking their presence how adi adin anante mohdin is going to be a ganita sutra upasutra 3 and these both are there so samme sam so shunyam samme samuchche is the ganita sutra 5 in which both these formulations there eka adike purve in sutra 1 एक न्यून एन पूर्व इज सूत्र फोर्टीन न्यूनम याव दूनम इज द सूत्र टेन इन विच दिस फॉर्मेशन देयर पूर्णम एंड अपूर्णम इज इन देयर इन सूत्र एट पूर्णम अपूर्णम भ्याम देन समिष्टि व्यस्टि आर द फॉर्मुलेशन इन गणित सूत्र अलेवन व्यस्टि समिष्टि नो आफ्टर हैविंग ए रीच द थर्ड कॉलम with the location of these formulation then in the next column let us make a note how these all formulations are to be worked out with an and along the format of a varga now it is here where the real blissful exercise would be there for us we see how are the anand to be visualized and worked out and to be availed how some may parallel and equal to be seen how adhik and noon and unum to be seen how purun and apurunam to be seen how vesti and smriti to be seen that there would be a square within a square it would be a whole it would be a part and like that we have to now sequentially revisit visit and visit again the text of the ganita sutras and ganita up sutras therefore our prayer shall be that we should sit comfortably and recite with bliss in chorus the 
text of Ganita Sutra and Rup Sutra, beginning with the first letter, reaching up till the 519th letter, in a sequence with equal emphasis, with equal impasse, equal force, equal nod, equal nod in it, so that we can imbibe these values of these letters and their formats and their placements within our consciousness so that we can have a proper consciousness base for our intelligence field. It is only by attaining this consciousness base for our intelligence field that we can say that we are really going parallel to the vision of the mathematics of Ganita Sutras. So first we have to be parallel to the vision of the mathematics of the Ganita Sutras and then we have to have a proper strategy to fabricate these tools, mathematical tools from the format of hypercube 6 body and the strategy which is inherent within these number values and features are to be availed and for it the logistics are going to be in the form of a diamond at format which as well will be taking us while along the format of a Varga it would be of a five steps three points and there would be two linear units in between or we are having a one diamond and another diamond and being resynthesized to again have a diamond we will have a square within a square so it would be going to be a square within a square, a VST and a SMST, and it also going to be a line and a square within a square, which will take us from the affine state of a square and affine state of a line to a sequential state of line and square within a square. Therefore, our prayer should follow by a meditation, a transcendental meditation, and this transcendental meditation is naturally will be of the format that the transcendental values emanating from the consciousness base and those are fulfilling our intelligence. Thank you very much.